All right. Hi, everyone. I'm so excited to have you, Tonda, here today. Hi, you, Tonda. Hello, everyone. How are you? Hi, Pika. How are you? Good, good. Um, I'm, I'm stoked to dive into sort of your, your workshop. Um, but before I do, maybe can you tell me a little bit about yourself and what you do? Yes, so my name is Yetunde Shores, and I literally thrive on helping other people step fully into whatever their purpose is. So I typically work with women entrepreneur leaders who want to get crystal clear on what their purpose is so that they can have more impact, build community, and earn profits confidently with their purpose um, and show up authentically. And I use PR, branding, and creative marketing strategies to help them, full, help them bring their full and authentic self to the world. Cool. And is this is this women who are starting out, or is it? Do you think women all women the time? who are well? I, typically, women. I used to work with women who are starting out, but now I'm women who are on like, okay, what's my next level? They've had some level of success. They're like, they have the general idea, but they're like, okay, I know I need to be hitting more people, having more impact, being in more media. What do I need to do? And so those are my people. Right. Right. Okay. So so your workshop. Uh, can yes. you tell us a little bit about your workshop and um, some of the key learnings uh, as yes. to what people can take away? So my workshop is around, since my work is around purposeful branding, my workshop is around how to define your brand purpose and how to create content that gets you love, respected, and paid. And so you're going to learn the key factors about a purposeful brand. There's a difference between a regular brand and a brand that is purpose-centered. I teach you the, the basics of that. Um, and then you're going to learn how to develop meaningful connections with your ideal customers that helps you have them as long-term clients and customers. So it's not one-off situation. You end up building relationships with people that are with you for five, seven, 10 years. And then finally, I'm going to share my proprietary method of developing content that positions you as a thought leader, helps you attract the people that you're supposed to help and helps them trust you and helps you get paid with your content for what you do. But it's all like, it's like easy, like Sunday morning, very natural way to do it. Right. I'm going to say your, your workshop seems like you got a lot of juicy, good stuff in there. Yes. Um, I want to, I want to dive into sort of the first point that you're talking about mm -hmm. uh, when you're saying building a purposeful brand, what exactly do you mean by that? What, what would it look like? Right. So there's a there's a cross section between the thing you feel like you're supposed to be doing on planet Earth and the thing that you're just doing just because to fill time. Right. And so what, what happens is the challenge with just doing something of just because is like it lasts for a certain time, but then it fades off. And then the idea is how do you build something that is purpose centered, aligned to you so that if you had to do this thing for the next 10 or 20 years, you're OK with it. And so mm -hmm. I help you tap into whatever that is. That's the connection between what you're supposed to do, what that you love and enjoy, and the people that you're supposed to help, what they need. So it overlaps. Mm -hmm. So you enjoy it and they need it. It's like a win-win. You get to do what you love. They get to buy it from you because they need it. So that's that's where your purpose and who you're supposed to help uh, intersect. Man, I feel like that's such a difficult topic to hone in and like for yourself, especially. Right. right. Um, I mean, speaking of, for me, I'm an entrepreneur. I like to thrive inside companies, but mm -hmm. sort of same idea applies in terms of finding what you're being real with yourself. Right. And, and say, okay, okay, Pega, like, what am I really passionate about? Yeah. And like, don't think of, you know, all the other things that you're supposed to be passionate about. What right. Right. That's so, the trick. That's the trick. Right. So I, I, I mean, yeah, being real with yourself is, is one thing, right. but sometimes it can be hard. I mean, like, do you have some tips that you could give for someone who's who's wanting to do that but might not be sure as to how? The simplest tip I can give you is, uh, it might be disappointing, but it's good news. Because the thing is, the, the purpose, the thing you're supposed to be doing might be so simple that you're like, I can't, it's, it can't be that simple. And so that's, that's what's overwhelming for a lot of people, or should I say underwhelming? Because they'll, they're expected to be rocket science and to come in this fabulous package. And it's like, maybe your thing is like, you're just really good with strategy. You're like, that's it. That's all I got to do. That's it. You know, <laughs> or that you're really good at cheering people on. Like, I'm your cheerleader. Yeah. I'm like, with all my experience in life, you're telling me all I got to do is cheer. That's it. You know? Yeah. So yeah. It's, it's accepting. The simple advice is accepting the simplicity of 
the thing that you're supposed to do, the hard work is going to come. So if you're looking for work, don't worry. There's going to be lots of work to do. So just keep understand it's probably simple and it's the work of mastering it that becomes the challenge. So just get to the simplicity so that you can get to the, the work that needs to be done to master your thing so that you can help more people. Right. Yeah. Um, I was actually having a conversation with one of my colleagues and we were talking about how a lot of us um, fixate on our weaknesses uh -huh. and we try to like focus in on that and we put our energy into that. But from what I'm hearing from you is very much looking at what you're thriving in and, and sort of like pushing that forward. So if it's strategy, push yeah. through, like forward with the strategy. Exactly. exactly. Whatever it is, whatever your thing is, some people are good organizers. Some people are good accountants. Like they just really love numbers. I'm like, I don't get it. Cause I don't have a numbers person. Right. But they really love numbers. I'm like, if that's your thing, sit, like marinate in it, sit in it and help it, use it to help other people. Cause the fact that it's so simple for you means you have simple, practical ways to explain it to people that they will understand. And that's what they need. They just need, they need it to be simplified. So don't complicate it. It's simple. And so focus on the thing that you're really good at. Yeah. I, I find as women, we're always like, oh no, I mean like even for myself, like, oh, I'm good at marketing, but you know, everyone knows, everyone knows how to do that. You sort of assume, but then it's like, no, you know, like that is your thing. Own yeah, exactly. It. And, exactly. And, you know so um so your workshop is is you know our summit is ju in july so there's a little yeah. bit of time until we get there yeah. um what would you say to people who are listening um they can do in the meantime to sort of get ready for your workshop i think the simplest thing i can have you do right now because you have time and you know with our situation right now everybody has some extra time to do stuff is do a brain dump you know, if you're really confused and you're like, all right, that's, you know, you're one of those multi-passionate, I'm one of those, <laughs> you have like 50,000 things that you're really good at. And that, then, then there's like five things that you're really, really good at. Do it brain dump, put it all on paper and kind of just sift through and start deciding, okay, if I had to do this for the next 10 years, which ones would it be? And so maybe pick your like top five and then start from there. And okay, what are the strengths in those things? What, what is your zone of genius? And that's a, a, a thing that you need to read up on. That are you so good at it that if if I woke you up in your sleep, you can give me an answer, or, or is it like you still have to do some stuff around it? So just do a brain dump right now. There's a lot that some things that new things that will come up for you. Brain dump and have it ready because by the time you go through my session, you should have some level of clarity um, and and how to use that to connect to your ideal customers and then generate content that that engages and and converts and attracts them. So. I guess this is such a like a, a deep topic. I'm sure there's there's like plenty of books or resources out there that people yeah. can look at. Um, do you have any? Do you have like a favorite book that you like to share with people or a gift to them um, to sort of read up on? Yes, my favorite book to give is the uh, Four Agreements by Juan Ru Luis Miguel. And I love that book because I think I, I love practical stuff, like simple to do things. And it just gives it's the four agreements, simple things you can do to just live and have a better life. So that's my I've gifted that multiple times. So that's my go to gift book that I give to, to friends and family. Cool. The four cool. agreements. Yeah. Um, so what what are the, those four agreements? I guess a little sneak peek. The, well, one of them that is my favorite is um, the idea of always do your best, like just bring your best self to the table. And, and, and the, so that way you never have to question anything, because if, if you're bringing your best, there's no doubt. Um, I have to pull the book up to remember the four, but that's one of my favorites because I, I and it resonated with me because my mom was always big on being excellent. She's like, because if you're excellent, you're not, it doesn't matter. Everybody wants excellence. So that that kind of reinforced to me that lesson of growing up of just always do your best and you never have any doubts in terms of what you're putting out there mm -hmm. so yeah. so intertwined with like your what your purpose is because you can right. really create things that you're really proud of if you're right. honing in on that so yeah I, I see that alignment there yeah um, now let's switch this up a little i would love to learn like a little fun fact about you that our viewers would be interested to learn about Fun fact, I know how to crochet. <laughs> I, okay. learned, I went to boarding school in Nigeria and it was one of those things that we have to take in home economics. It was either cooking or crocheting and something else. I was like, and I picked crocheting. And so I'm looking forward to being like the old lady crocheting 
sweaters and things for my grandbabies <laughs> whenever that happens. But yeah, I know how to crochet. So that it's is fun. so cute. My I actually got a blanket from my uh, my grandma. A crochet. Really, it's, it's so cute. So. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna be one of those grandmas. My my kids will be talking about that in their own age too. Uh, but your 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 kids are young right now, right? You my kids, no, I have twin girls. They yeah, they're only like two and a half. They're two yeah. and a half years old. So you know, another maybe thirty years. You know, I'll be yeah. I'll be yeah. you know doing crochet blankets for some little people. You know, in the right. families. It'll be fun, yeah. Um, so another question, I mean, your mom of two right now, staying at mm -hmm. home, how are you sort of managing running your own business and having the little guys at home as well? Thank God for the privilege and benefit of having a nanny because, oh my God, <laughs> this is one of those things that I'm like, nobody told me, nobody told me, <laughs> nobody told me. Um, but, um, it's so rewarding and fulfilling. And, and the thing is, since I was 12, I always imagined being a work from home mom. Literally when I was 12 years old, I was like, I know that I want to work, you know, I want, I'm going to be an entrepreneur. I want to work for myself, but I'm like, I want to be home to raise my girls, but I also know I want to run my business. So what is that going to look like? So my husband and I agreed to, because we're both entrepreneurs and we work from home, um, to have a, a, a nanny, um, supporters. And she's in, like, we got lucky. She's incredible. And she's she's auntie now, and our girls love her, and just we just love her, love her to bits, yeah. That's so good. Thank gosh for that, because <laughs> yeah. my friend my friend right now has a has a baby, a toddler at home too, and and uh, she's lucky because of her husband. But man, yeah. they are they're lots of work. Uh, yeah. So got to get ready for that. But. Yeah, yeah. So if we if our viewers want to connect with you uh, before the summit, where can mm -hmm. they connect with you? You can I hang out on Instagram. And yes. it's Yitsunde Shorter, so it's Y-E-T-U-N-D-E, Shorter, S-H-O-R-T-E-R-S. I hang out on Instagram and my website, YitsundeShorters.com. But I am, like, stoked and excited for this summit. I am, you know, I, I bumped into it last year, and I was like, I had it on my vision, but, like, I want to be a part of it because I just feel like it's an incredible opportunity, one, for the world to get to meet these incredible women that have such value to provide, um, but two, for those women to spread their message to more people um, and impact more lives. So it was just like an easy, yes, 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 yes. And July 14 to 16, can you come already? Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. I, I love having you on board and your energy you. is so, um, it, you could just feel it off of the camera. <laughs> and the screen. So thank you, you so much for joining. And I'm really looking forward to connecting with you in the next month and a half. Um, Me too. And Everyone, make sure that you tune in for Yutana. Her talk's going to be amazing. Awesome. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Take you care. take care. Okay, bye. bye.